Hello everybody, my name is Starpter and welcome back to the channel. This is week 11 of War of the Bounty Hunters, the epic Star Wars Marvel crossover event that deals with who is going to get away with Han Solo, although we know how that story ends. But it's interesting to look at those events. So this week we were talking about issue number 12 of Dr. Aphra, as well as War of the Bounty Hunters issue number 2. So it's kind of a toss-up, which one do I read first? I started reading Dr. Aphra before diving into War of the Bounty Hunters issue number two, but I think it could either way works really. So we're going to start off with War of the Bounty Hunters issue number two. Great cover, especially anytime you throw Jabba the Hutt on there, makes it extra special, especially with that slave one. Really cool stuff right there. Uh, so this issue picks up with Boba Fett. He is hot on the trail of Han Solo. He has learned about Crimson Dawn. And now he learns about the location of this soiree that Kira from Solo Star Wars Store is throwing to basically auction off Han and Carbonite to all these different criminal organizations. So he shows up outside of there. He just has to get a ticket in. He overhears these guys boasting about how they have a ticket, immediately tries to take away their ticket, take away their disguise. And then next thing you know, Bosk shows up. Boba Fett just single-handedly destroys Bosk to the point where he actually takes off Bosk's legs. So there you have it. Uh, next time we're going to see Bosk in the post-Return of the Jedi era, he's going to have cybernetic legs. So that's something new for Star Wars. That right there is really cool. So he gets infilt he infiltrates into this soiree on Jakara, and you see everybody, everybody that is big, that is it, right? We got the huts, including Jabba and Boku. We have the Crimson Dawn, obviously. We have the Black Sun, who have Lord Giotti, who is the guy from Aftermath. It wasn't Zizor. Maybe there's a chance for Zizor to be in there, but I digress. We also have the Pikes there. So everybody that is everybody is basically at this party, and Boba Fett runs into Aphra, and Boba Fett has the disguise. He is now not wearing the armor, but he's cloaked, and he gives Aphra and Sano the task of, you know, helping him out with causing a distraction. So basically what is happening is Kira is auctioning off, you know, a hundred thousand credits, you know, and people are bidding as you know, of course Jabba bets a million and wins it. And at that moment is when Boba Fett gives Dr. Aphra the signal to cause a distraction. But as soon as she does that, that is when none other than Darth Vader shows up and just says, Enough of the games, I'm taking solo with me. And that is pretty much where this issue ends. So very cool stuff there. But like I said, we also got Dr. Afra issue number 12, which ties in super, super directly with issue number two of War of the Bounty Hunters. There's a lot of crossover that goes on here. As we know, her journey has her, you know, going for, working for Domina Tag. Domina Tag wants to know surveillance wise, like what's going on at this party? Who's there? What are they doing? So she's there undercover as well with Sana. And she's also trying to figure out what's going on with, you know, the Black Sun. She's going to get, try to smuggle one of their data crystals off of this um, person. Her name is Zet of the Black Sun. Doesn't go so well, but she does leave like a tracker for her voice of this person talking. So she's able to keep tabs on her. And that is when we have the crossover. Because then we have Boba Fett that bumps into Dr. Aphra. And we have the same dialogue that is repeated from the War of the Bounty Hunters issue number two in that where he wants her to basically cause a distraction. So we get all those events kind of summarized from what's happened in War of the Bounty Hunters 2, where, you know, Kira's auctioning off everything. And next thing you know, Darth Vader walks in. And from Dr. Aphra's perspective, this is horrifying because Dr., uh, you know, Darth Vader thinks that he killed her. So she cannot be seen near Darth Vader because he is definitely going to kill her this time for sure and that's basically how that issue ends but there's also that part B of the story with Ariel as well as Just Lucky and they're there for the six kin to track down their mentor figure that has betrayed um, their master basically of this criminal syndicate over there on Canto Bight so they're also there for that interest and they come across this mentor that they used to have and they used to respect and he's basically fighting him with this electrical staff. And he says, I don't want to really fight you because I have information that we need to discuss. And that's basically how that story ends. So really looking at both of these issues that came out this week, they intertwine so well. And that's what's really neat about these issues is seeing different perspectives of Boba Fett in a conversation with Dr. Aphra and what's going on with Kira. So great synergy with, you know, the writers of, of Charles Soule. And, you know, the people that are involved with the Dr. Aphra book from the artist to the, the writer, everybody that's involved there 
deserves credit for working so well together and really making those ends meet. Very cool, very different for something in Star Wars. Although I am a little bit disappointed that between the both of these comics, they didn't really push the story that much forward for either of these. It was more of like a table setting episode, more of like a setup episode or issue where like we see all these characters that are coordinating. We also get a glimpse of Luke as well as Lando and, and Leia and what they're going to be doing, you know, infiltrating Jakara and all that with Boba Fett. So there's a lot of characters. This was the issue that gets all these characters to show up with one another at these places. So it's overall just expanding um, the storyline and moving forward. I, I assume in issue number three, it's going to be very good. But, you know, just a quick kind of uh, thoughts on what's going on here is all these issues are important. We're going to get Darth Vader issue number 14 or whatever it is next week and that'll probably carry through with what's happening with vader so even though you're not re if you don't read these mini series comics you might be a little bit left in the dark i feel like at certain points because i as we do follow the events of, of boba fett through these journeys in the miniseries we're really getting a lot of the meat of the story through you know the dr afra issues through the star wars issues yada 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 so that was my recap for week 11 of the war of the bounty hunters miniseries event what did you think of the second issue of War of the Bounty Hunters? How are you feeling about that party on Jakaro? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. For more on Star Wars, I have reviews for some of the most recent High Republic content, so check that out, as well as some of the reviews for other things like movies that have come out recently. So make sure you check that out and do subscribe as it is the best way to support the channel. And I also have that weekly Star Wars podcast called Outer Rim Transmission. We go live every friday at nine o'clock we put the episodes available for download every monday thereafter you can download it on spotify google podcasts as well as wherever else podcasts are found that is good to do for me start so thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video i also include two videos down below you guys should check out and please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.